Remember the guy who got plastic surgery to become a Korean woman? Ollie, welcome. It's lovely to see you this morning. Thank you for being here. So, and I'm gonna say, oh, hi guys. Hi. hi. Well, now he said he's going back to being an Englishman. Hey, you guys, what's up? It's the new Ollie London, the straight version of Ollie London. No more Korea. No more being Rose from Blackpink. It's the real me, guys. And my wish for 2023 is to go to the Philippines, find a beautiful Filipino girlfriend and get married and have Filipino babies. So guys, this is the brand new me. See you guys soon in the Philippines. Mahal kita, gusto kita. I hope you like my new voice, by the way, guys. This is my brand new voice from all of my hormone therapy. This is the new me, guys. I mean, what the hell? There's no backsies. You can't just go back, can you? Yeah, apparently you can. He's a Christian now. I mean, he's on Fox News now. I started dressing as a Korean woman, and I realized that was a big mistake, and I just want to be a boy. I mean, this is a whole different person. Children are taught from a young age, from the age of five in some cases, that it's okay to change their gender. It's okay to, you know, wear a skirt. It's okay for a boy to use a gender-neutral toilet when it puts girls at risk. I mean, the way he's talking now, I wouldn't be surprised if they gave him a show after Tucker Carlson. Now that would be a smoother transition for him. You know, Tucker, what happened years ago when kids used to go to school, they used to idolize Superman and astronauts. Now kids are being pushed this radical ideology. They're taught to idolize weak men like Harry Styles, weak politicians like Beto O'Rourke. Why is this happening? You know, and is it any wonder people like me fall victim to this? You know, I do got to say he is on to something with this Harry Styles thing. You know, I, I went to the bookstore the other day, right? And I, I kid you not, and I took video of this to prove to you. I go to the music section and I kid you not, almost every other magazine is of this guy. What is going on here? Just every magazine all at once just decided to make an entire magazine dedicated to this guy. I mean, what? I don't get it. I mean, they really do push this guy on the people. I mean, let's be honest here. This isn't a conspiracy. I mean, there's a lot of artists out there and not a lot of magazines.